All right, so I'm gonna take a short drive to the library, and it's it's not exactly the easiest drive to make. I had to like get out and walk to plot the route I wanted to take. You just you just it's too busy. They have to control the traffic. Oh, why am I going backwards? Oh well. <clears throat> so I have to go behind the Walmart and take a little a little loop that a lot of other people like taking too. It's pretty busy. There there was an old old route that went further behind the Walmart, but that's like blocked off with construction and all that. So now take the other route. <clears throat> it's actually a shorter route. But yeah, you just can't take a, a, a left on this road because it's just too busy. So there's an intersection. So you have to look for an intersection with the stoplights and and uh, take. I need to take a right up up on uh, Stewart and something else. Oh, this lady's actually begging on the side of this building here with her kid. They actually have no loitering signs. But yeah, this, this road right here is so busy that she actually saw a car stop next to her. So they might have given her something. There's, there's a bunch of bottles of alcohol I just passed by there. And then here's a homeless person <clears throat> with milk. Wow. Oh, and a cat, too. So, looking pretty homeless. There's quite a few people. See, now this is what I need to do. They put, they put these bumpers up. And so this must, there might be a new, new setup for, oh, no, no, not quite. <laughs> they just had it too low. You could actually run over that, that concrete. A homeless person's got a cat on their cart. They tied down a cat to their cart. Yeah, Nellis Boulevard and Stewart something. Yeah, just so I could take a left. I have to I have to wind around. Because they, they block off the middle section of these roads. And this is this is quite a bit on the outskirts of the city. But it's still pretty busy, especially getting closer to the military base. I just want to go to the library and I don't know what time it is. Hang out. I don't think it's even open yet. Nine, yeah, it's uh, nine o'clock. I want to pull out my bicycle, get out and bicycle around a little bit, and uh, check out. Get try to get to the federal courthouse. Let's see. Uh, See if they can answer any further questions about my legal problem, potential legal problem. The trolls don't want to sue me. There's that cat again. It's, it looks like it's it's accepting its its fate. The cat tied to a, a shopping cart. They get away pretty easy if you let them go. <clears throat> yeah, cats have a way to change change their psychology, and instead of being scared of humans and and uh, having to hunt for themselves, they just give in to <laughs> humans feeding them, and and then having to be all snuggly. It's a wide range of of uh, of perspe perspectives. So that, that bus says, follow us to fun. Child care? Follow us to fun.
You know, people... Oh, oh that's, that's the plate. People make noise crossing that. I think I... Re yeah, I should recall where to turn. I don't quite remember the name. Oh, here's another. Lots of work going on around here. Yeah, there's there's quite a few homeless people. A lot of loitering bums around the area. It's it's very busy and active. Uh, people doing whatever. It's pretty ethnic. Big Kmart still in business here. Yeah, there's the McDonald's. I was thinking about walking to the McDonald's, but it's it's a bit far from Walmart. Might as well just drive to the library and hang out all day. I shouldn't get in trouble for, for keeping my car parked all day at the library. Yeah, I definitely want to, to bicycle around it. Either, I could go either way, really. Either go in town, which is like six miles away, or check out the outskirts more. Looking at parks and there's some kind of preserve or reserve area. Try to climb the mountain. That's a, that's a, a pretty big mountain that can overlook the city. It'd be a nice view there. <clears throat> There's got to be some trails to the top. Yeah, I could go either way today. Really though, what's bugging me is the federal stuff. Oh well, and also my own, my criminal problem too. I don't know what else I could research for that. I would like to throw out the arguments in a discussion forum about arguing with the, the judge about why I got my ticket. I think that I think the uh, cop wrote a ticket for a completely different thing than what he than what he arrested me for. Are are charges really that flexible? And that, you know, they probably are, but, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to portray the dirtiness of this, of this cop. I mean, this is a cop, I believe I turn on Harris, so. this is a cop who refuses to give his name and also doesn't use a camera. To me, that's dirty, alright, you don't use a camera and you refuse to give your name. I mean, you're just working on, you're trying to work in the shadows, pretty much. It's dirty, dirty business. I think, you know, for me, a hero cop is one who has no problem identifying himself and no problem with, uh, yeah, with recording or whatever. Because he's always, he's always acting honorable and he's willing to put a, a stamp on his honorable nature. The dirty cops aren't willing to do that because they know they'll they'll start to accrue uh, bad marks. So why even bother giving a full name? Because <laughs> it'd just be another bad mark in their in their performance. Dirty cops. That's how they that's how they preserve their job. Try to try to. To keep the um, the distinguishable marks they make as as low key as they can. All right, so there's like okay, there's a couple of cars here. Oh, jeez, am I going the wrong way? Oh, um, gosh, I don't know. I just I don't really want to stand out, but. What am I going to do? I'm like the only car here. <laughs> <laughs>